we're going to be talking about arrays in Python to do some numerical analysis. So we're going to talk about some built-in arrays to Python and then also NumPy arrays. So we're going to cover arrays, two types. Um, the first one is going to be Python um, arrays and then also NumPy arrays, how to define those, how to work with them in, uh, in Python. So if we think about arrays, um, you can have a, a vector or a one-dimensional array. So for example, let's say I just had some values, okay, and these are uh, going to be a collection of numbers instead of an individual number. Um, and then I might reference it, for example, let's say I want to get the, um, the second uh, element of that. I would do x1 and that would equal um, this value right here. Okay, so I could also have uh, multi-dimensional arrays as well. Uh, let's say I had a matrix M and uh, it had individual values at all of these rows and in these columns and then I could pick out a value um, and work with it in different ways um, with this matrix. So what we'll do now is go ahead and just open up um, Python. We'll um, run um, okay so I'll just do the IDLE um, GUI and uh, once that comes up, then uh, we'll start working with uh, some sample arrays in, uh, in Python. Okay, and then uh, let me go ahead and just create a new file. This is uh, where I can put some of the commands um, to uh, create a script. Okay, so I'll have my script over here to the side and then my command window over here to the other side. Okay, when I run it, I'll be able to see the results there. Okay, so um, save this. Uh, first of all, just for syntax highlighting purposes, uh, to create a new Python file. I'll just call it myscript.py. Okay, and then when I run it, um, I'll uh, see the results on the right-hand side. Okay, so let's first of all just create a new uh, array. And I'll just say that x equals uh, 1 um, to... 3.5, uh, 10, and 20. Okay, so this is going to be a collection of uh, numbers um, defined as an array. If I just print um, x, that's going to then uh, show up here as my array. If I want to access a certain element of that, okay, I can do this from the command prompt or over here on the script side. Um, if I access um, x2, that's going to be equal to 3.5. Okay, so that's the middle one. If I want to access the last um, element of this, I do x negative 1, and then that's going to be uh, 20. If I want to do the second to last one, um, negative 2. Okay, so I can, I can uh, either get it from the beginning or the end part of it as well. Um, also, you can deal with uh, ranges as well. Okay, so uh, 0 to 2. Uh, it does not include this last uh, element there. Um, it'll just include uh, one less than that. So that would be one uh, to two. Uh, one and two, um, just the zero and one elements of that array. Okay, so um, this is, these are the built-in array, arrays to, um, you know, to uh, Python, but a lot of times what we want to do is we want to do some analysis on it. I find that NumPy is a lot easier to use than uh, the built-in arrays. Uh, so I'm going to import NumPy as NP. Okay, and then uh, what I want to do is define a new array, um, and I'll I'll say NP dot. Um, now in this case I'll do array, and then have my parentheses, and within that I'll define my new array. Okay, so I'll just do the same one that I did uh, before. Okay, so just go ahead and copy that and inside uh, these parentheses go ahead and put your array um, and then I'll print um, y okay so that's going to be printing um, x and then y as it after it loads in the uh, the numpy you can see it treats all those numbers as a uh, floating point um, versus python uh, the built-in arrays treated those some of them as integers and uh, the middle one as a floating point number Okay, so I can do things, uh, certain types of analysis with this uh, now that I have this um, array Y that's in NumPy. So for example, I can do NP 
dot mean, you know, take the, the mean value of this. Uh, if I have a multidimensional, the second argument is going to be which axis I choose to take the mean over. Uh, in this case, I just have, um, you know, one dimension for this array, so I'm just going to take the mean of y. Okay, so it just took the average value. I can also do the uh, max value, for example, or the uh, min value. Okay, so those are all uh, you know, operations that I can do on this NumPy array. So um, let's say I had, um, let's say I want to plot um, these values. Okay, so let's say I have uh, Y and then I also have uh, T. So T might be my time. Um, and uh, let's say, so there's a couple different operations I want to show you here. Um, you can define a new array with the empty function. Okay, so the shape, let's say that's going to be five. Um, that'll just be, uh, it isn't gonna clear the memory, it's gonna be whatever memory is there. It's just gonna say I have five elements to it and it can be very large numbers, very small numbers. If I print uh, T, for example, okay, so let me print uh, T and, uh, and then I'll print Y after that. Okay, so when you print it, you can see that it just came out with, um, you know, just whatever bits were there in the computer. It didn't try to initialize that at, in any way. Uh, you can also initialize them with uh, values of 1, for example, just with the 1s. Okay, um, and there you can see all of those 1s. Uh, you can do zeros as well. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so zeros, ones. Uh, another common one is lin space. Okay, so we're going to have a linearly spaced values, let's see, between zero. This is going to be our starting value, and then the stopping value might be, um, I'll say one. So it's going to go between zero and one, and I want to have uh, five elements to that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and run this one. Okay, so you can see those five elements. So I have two arrays that are the uh, same size. Um, now I might want to plot those. So I'll go ahead and just import uh, mat uh, plot lib pi plot um, and I'll import that as plt and then let me go ahead and just uh, plot um, t and y and then I will show that as well. Okay so I'm just going to show this data. Now this is an example of where you use these vectors, these arrays, these um, one-dimensional uh, arrays or vectors uh, to be able to plot some data. And I'll just make those as red uh, circles. Okay, and then run it again. And uh, then it's going to open up this plot where I can see uh, the data. So these five points, the one down here, and then it goes up. Uh, there's my last point. Okay, so linearly spaced between zero and one. And these are just some numbers that I'd put in for the y vector. Okay, um, one other thing to know is that uh, the Python arrays are, are just a little bit more flexible. I'm going to put, instead of 3.5 here, I'm going to put in car. Okay, so 1, 2, car, 10, and 20. And then uh, if I print that, I have some integers. And then also, um, okay, also this car element that you can see uh, down there. So one thing I can do is also access uh, the individual element of that um, array. Um, so if I type in something like x, uh, let's see, that's going to be 2. Okay, that's going to be car, but if I access x2 and maybe the very first element of that, that's going to be c. Um, if I want to take just a piece of that string, Okay, let's say I want to just get uh, CA. Um, there is uh, CA with the range, um, the range there, okay. Uh, I can also say, um, let's see, I can also do things like X um, of two to the end of it. Okay, so there it takes car 10 and 20. Okay, and then, um, so there's different ways to slice it. Uh, slice these arrays, just take uh, different parts of, of them. Um, the one final thing I wanted to cover um, in here is it's, it's really important uh, 
with uh, dealing with arrays, uh, uh, you know, with data types. Um, if you have a string in there, uh, you can't add a, uh, a number and a string together. So let's say I had A is going to be equal to uh, 7 as a string. B is going to equal uh, 3 as an integer. And then C equals, um, let's say, a floating point number. Um, so Python is dynamically typed, so I can change, uh, you know, even though C is a floating point, I can change that to a string and uh, back and forth. So if I try to add A and B together, it's going to give me an error because it, can't, it says I can't add a string and an integer object together. So what I need to do is I can either do, you know, convert A into an integer, okay, um, or a uh, float uh, value plus b, okay, and then I get the value of 10. But if I uh, do, if I convert b instead to a string, um, then I'm going to get 7, 3, which is like putting two elements of a sentence together, concatenating them. Okay, so that's just one other thing to note. If you do have an array uh, such as this up above where it's 1, 2, car, 10, 20, you got to be careful about adding or, or, you know, some operations that you do on those arrays. Okay, so that um, that concludes some of this information on arrays. We can create them, we can manipulate them, do st you know basic statistics, um, and uh, also be able to plot them as well.